Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Prey. It's time to, uh... Here's my tournament. Oh, okay, wait, things are working fine. I thought we didn't have any audio, because the transcribe wasn't making any To upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's not that I'm not listening. You know, I just, uh, making some quick repairs. Thing for you on my desk that should help. Alright, well, I don't know what he means by they're going to come after you. I definitely have already had basically the maximum amount of possible trouble with the Typhon, I think. Huh. Mods and an anti rad pharma fabrication plan. Why are there so many of these? I picked up probably what 10 of those fabrication plans by now. Anyway, let's upload a thing. Huh. This is Commander Walter Dahl. The Transtar Board of Directors has authorized me to take full command of Talos One. Effective immediately. All employees okay. must now report to the Shuttle Bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and oh, my team of rescue to operators fast. will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been Can't relieved of Can't their positions. Do not consent to their requests, or assist them in any way. Dull out. Okay. Well locked out. It's stall. He already has his hooks into every major system of what Talos one. I have to admit, I'm disappointed with our parents. Usually they had a contingency in place, but a small foolish part of me believed they wouldn't use him against their own flesh and blood. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. Oh, See good. if you can locate his access point and cut him off. You know what? Let's see how you like some science, nerd. Okay. Are you like All right. I think I could have uh, hacked him. Right, can I do this? Research complete. Morgan, Dahl will know you're coming. All Transtar personnel are outfitted with tracking bracelets. I have no doubt his operators are already on their way to rescue you. Those bracelets are issued and removed in deep storage. Worth investigating if you want to fly under the radar. Okay, so I'm thinking that it's probably pretty important for us to get down to the shuttle bay and deal with the, his dudes there before anybody falls for his nonsense. That said, a lot of the survivors uh, are in the cargo bay with Elazar, and she should be too smart to uh, to allow people to go looking for safety. Because I'm sure his dudes are just going to kill everybody, right? Like, that's the obvious implication. Okay, are we friends now? I don't know what value that had, but... I'm certainly not short on spare parts, you know. Man, like a million of these things everywhere, and it's really annoying. Can I just hack you now? Oh, I can. Hell yeah, we'll just we'll just glue them and science them into being allies, or half of them at least. We can have them fight each other. What am I doing here? Why am I having such a hard time with this? Alright, well, I've just given myself a little bit of a handicap. 
This isn't even a difficult pattern. You know, some days you have it, and some days you're doing the thing I'm doing right now. And I still beat it. Okay, yeah, these things take a, uh, a really tremendous amount of ammo to put down. So, this is probably the way we're going to deal with a lot of them. Pretty glad I got up to hacking four now. Yeah, something about this map is causing me to uh, play like total ass. It's not my fault, it's the map's fault, you understand. They'll break out of the glue for too much longer. I guess let's go. Uh, let's go check out deep storage. I'm having a hard time getting around if these things are, uh, are tracking me everywhere. Yeah, hopefully Elazar will be too smart to let people go running out to the military shuttle because. Uh, sorry, I guess they're not military. Military. This is. No matter what they claim to be, what this really is is a Transstar cleanup operation, right? I mean, not that it matters much. They're gonna kill all the survivors dead, no matter who they work for. Operator deployment resuming. Okay, uh, let us go through these suit repair kits all of a sudden, finally needing them. the announcement. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me, I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos 1 without any more bloodshed. Just okay. don't no. harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. Ah, uh, where'd the poltergeist go? Requesting new operator. He just hit the button on the operator thing? N dash C nine flight box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Okay, once I've hacked this thing, can I I'm wondering how easy it is to break it out of the blue without really damaging it. Because I actually would really like to have one of these running around here. Thanks for all your help. Jesus, I think the thing did more damage to me than it did to the poltergeist. Alright, let's, uh... Let's eat jelly deals. So there is a, uh... ...anything except the secrets aboard this station. We're all liabilities to the company now. Now, I'm sure you can hear me. Never watch my company. Call up your operator. Integrity damaged. Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist. Oh my. Wow, it, uh. A lot of the glue was just not hitting it. I have not had to be pretty very precise with the glue gun so far, because the glue—I mean—you just fire it kind of toward enemies and it works. But that guy, like, it was just sliding right off the sides of him. Morgan, I heard the announcement. No, no, I will not give you up. You are there for me. I am here for you. If you'd indulge me, I have a proposal that could get us off Talos One without any more bloodshed. Just. Don't harm Dahl until we've had a chance to speak in person. Okay. So apparently everybody's going to take turns speaking for long periods of time while I'm under constant attack, which makes it uh, basically impossible to listen to anyone. I'm waiting, for, uh, I'm waiting for the military operator to get printed here. 
because I really, really, really want one of those to distract our enemies. And the moment I stop paying attention to this thing, it's going to spit out an operator and it's going to shoot me in the back. Come on. Error. Well, like... Is that a corrupted operator? No, that's just a normal engineering operator. I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... What the board told you. But you're out of your depth from this one. Call off your operators. Or at least help us hold back the Typhon. We're on the verge. Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist. Even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you. Chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made? Or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst. But this... This is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. And you should talk faster. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh... How do I get this damn bracelet off? It's gotta be up here, right? Coming through. Also, there's a recycler over here, isn't there? I desperately need to use the recycler. Okay. That looks a lot better. Let's dump this stuff to... Yeah, that looks a lot better. I... Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Actually, hold on. It's not being regarded as junk. Okay, let's hold it. Maybe we'll find a use for it after all. It has a gray background, like all the items that are junk, so I just figured. Okay. How you doing? Boy oh boy, do I need shotgun shells. <laughs> Once I built a bunch of shotgun shells, I think we have reasonable QB ammo. Are you? Morgan? Oh man, thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in trauma center. I came up here to look for supplies. I, I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now oh, I'm man. trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. All right, all right, all right. Inspector, your suit integrity is nominal. Huh. Why are you marked? Did I scope you? I don't think I did. Yes, I must have. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get this thing off my arm? Until Dahl and his tech officers are disabled. Oh, right, right, right. I just have to turn off my bracelet at the workstation. I knew that. 0913. I know how this works. This cannot be undone. It clearly can. I have already undone it once for somebody else. Aha. I cannot retract. Now... Clever lab rat. Now I can't see you. Your brother won't be so lucky. I'm closing in on him. 
That seems unlikely. I've been looking for that motherfucker for hours. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be so easy. Uh, do I want to grab some other stuff? I'm going to make a couple of these. Yeah, sure. This is definitely going to be a part of the game uh, that would be easier if I had some Typhon abilities. But, you know, I'm, uh, I'm maintaining my... Maintain my purity. I don't want to be a danger to the people back home. I especially don't want the people back home to think that I am a danger to the people back home. Because you know what would be really great is if uh, if I didn't have to be executed at the end of this. Okay. Coming through. Let's get up to trauma. We better save Luther. What the hell? Oh, I think I may have recycled the glue gun that I was using. And so the glue... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I think I maybe had upgraded it once or twice. But it's pretty irrelevant. Alright, let's try to have a couple of these things turned friendly. And just sort of wandering the ship. Executing Typhon and generally being great. Not only is that good for us because it helps clear the way, it will also be a distraction for, uh... What's-his-face, the slow-talking... Like, can he hear himself speak? Does he not hear that he sounds like a cartoon supervillain? Later, nerd. Okay. So we got to get back to medical, uh, which is a short elevator right away. Engineering operators can restore the integrity of your uniform, but an engineering operator corrupted by the Typhon will try to destroy you and your suit. Like, that's a big deal. Like, and after it's done with you, it'll go after your clothes, man. Live in terror of this outcome. All right. Huh. Is it a good idea to take the lift? It might be a bad idea to take the lift. We could go outside the station and come back in, like, through hardware labs? We could also go out to the command shuttle and just put a cap in this dude. No, let's take the lift. I'm, it's possibly trapped, but I'm curious. Uh, if it's trapped, I want to know that, and I want to see it, because I want to know what it's like. And also, let's... Oh, I got stuck on him. Let's at least try to give Igwe a chance. I've done nothing but save that dude's life so far. But, you know, he's a smart dude. Maybe he has figured out something good. I don't have to kill doll in the first place. I just have to incapacitate him. I have a stun gun that is very effective. And I'm sure I could get into his command shuttle. But I guess it's probably loaded down with space marines or some shit. If Igwe has a technological solution that means I don't have to get shot at, that's maybe a good idea. Because I've been dealing with a lot of stuff today, but I haven't actually been like shot at with rifles. That's not something I'm really looking forward to. They are definitely going to be able to see this on whatever hacking systems they have tapped into the, into the station. Yeah, this... Uh, this feels profoundly stupid. Well, if it gets really bad, I will uh, I'll use combat focus. Combat focus will help me get away. Because it slows everything else down, but it doesn't slow me down. Good news is, there's probably not like a ton of telepaths and weavers in here right now. Okay. Let's get up to trauma quickly. Uh, if I run into any operators in here, I'll try to convert them. That'd be pretty useful, actually. Qualified engineer. Morgan? 
I'm on it, I'm on it. Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Okay, let's hack this one really fast. Time seems to stop while I'm hacking. <laughs> so, I hack this one really fast and break off the, uh, the glue on it, and then it'll be a distraction for the others. While I one by one disable and hack them. It's kind of silly that I'm able to just kind of stand here and do this. Maybe it's like uh, Shadowrun style. Inside the... My actions here are occurring at the speed of thought. Okay, they do seem to be paying a little bit of attention to each other. We're definitely going to have to... The, uh, the laser doesn't have a serious impact effect. So it's really easy to underestimate how much damage it's doing. Ah. Okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> We're mashing on I to try to open my inventory. Alright, and this seems like an actual a good time for a med kit. Wow, there's so many of them. Shit. I'm sure okay. that was my fault. Well, that's a friendly. Why are there so many of them? System alert. Repair is needed. Oh. Okay, and now I'm getting the fear effect like a Typhon is nearby. Or the, you know, whatever, the graphical effect. Well, the good news is, I haven't had to use any of my actual weapons. Military Operator Copycat? Huh. I was about to say, it seems really strange that this... I saw the times as low as it was and I started panicking, but there was actually only a two hack because that's not actually a military operator, it's a military operator copycat. That's not a Typhon thing, is it? Man, these things are able to, to sustain just a huge amount of glue on them. Yeah, this feels like a real silly solution. But soon, think of it. The army we will have. This will handle the Typhon for us. Obviously, we'll have to never put another living thing on the station. But, uh, think about it. The infinite space battle between robots and humanity's greatest threat. That can be our doing. Wait, where'd that one go? We got credit for helping Luther Glass without having actually uh, dealt with all the enemies, which is strange. I guess I maybe gave him enough cover for him to bail out. <laughs> Well, in theory, once we get this under control, we disable Walter whatever, and then we uh, get all the operators dealt with. Um, the station should be safer than it has been since the beginning of the game. So that'll be good for everybody, including me. Although I suspect we're uh, maybe coming up on the end here. I think that's the last. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. System alert. Repair is needed. Ooh. Alright. Uh... All operational. 
diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. All done. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Where'd Luther go? <laughs> I saw that he was over here. Wait. Luther Glass's corpse has been on this table for some time, hasn't it? Alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, can I see completed quests? I cannot. I am not allowed to see completed quests. Huh. Five engineer. Because I knew there was a guy over here. Was he, wait, was he alive and merely unconscious before, or? I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Huh. Apparently I never got into this. I guess I haven't had um, Hacking 3 for all that long. From Regina Sellers to Alex Yu, Dr. Yu, I'm writing Yushin Mikaela. Yeah, okay. This is just, just when they figured out engineer. that she had the white noise. Okay, well, I was given credit for helping him despite the fact that I, he's 100% dead. Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since... Morgan. I was worried Dalo, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCN9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. Black box, huh? That sounds familiar. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dalo, his arrival may help us. As long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal is a recipient of several neuromods. A standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yes. You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. Yet we would still oh, yeah. have access to the shuttle and a way home. Hey, providing yeah. his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try. And there's been enough killing. Morgan. Morgan. I've been thinking about what you've done. What you're doing. We all must act according to our nature. No matter what the psychologists and priests say. And your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat. Resourceful. Sly. Burdened with a kind of pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory. And the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. You give them a good home and provide them with food and shelter and lots of love. That's what happens to the rats. Seriously, though, if you, uh, if you have never encountered a pet rat in your life, I strongly recommend, like, rats make awesome pets. We have, we have three rats, and they are fantastic. They're smart, they're empathetic, and they don't make a huge mess or uh, take up like huge chunks of your time. I have a little bit of a responsibility issue, you know, sometimes. Uh, makes like a dog or something a little bit much for me. But uh, rats are easy to care for. Okay, so that's his command shuttle right there. We gotta be really careful how we do this. Um, I don't actually have a lot of glue. Ooh, what are they shooting at? 
Requesting new operator. Uh oh. Okay. We could. N dash CN9 black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try stunning it down and hacking it then. Yeah, yeah, this is better. Um, it's injured, but it's also not incapacitated for as long. So it should be able to uh, get right back up and start fighting its uh, comrades here. And we have plenty of disruptor ammo. I have a ton. Oh my god. I cannot believe how many times I just missed that thing. It's very embarrassing. My only concern with this plan is that uh, one of these things might accidentally kill that dude before I have a chance to incapacitate him as well. We might want to terminate them after we survive this initial onslaught. Because it would be really embarrassing if I went to all the trouble of stunning him down. And then he uh, got his head laser open. Nice, good work, guys. There's a mimic. It's interesting that these turrets don't consider me to be an enemy. Requesting new operator. Huh. Let's get this done. Alright, I am ready. I have combat focus. I'm sneaky as hell. I can do this. steal all of the nice food that he brought with him. This is a lot of stuff, actually. It's a very, very well-outfitted shuttle. Is this a trap? This is a trap. Oh, man. Well, I'm already in here. Because he would have... We would have seen him by now, right? And I'm not being exactly subtle. Yeah. This is bad. This is bad. Maybe he's just, like, on the toilet. Oh, the open door button. <laughs> the cancel charge button are the same. Alright. Well, shoot. What was my plan here? I don't suppose I could just shock the key card. Uh, mission parameters. Yeah, I'm sure that this is going to be exactly what you think it is. Commander Dole, this is William Yu, acting chairman of the trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit. Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payments will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be in the hardware labs. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Okay, so we gotta find the tech officer and I'm sure that he'll have the key card. Dahl will just hide like a coward until we go in there and get him. Very unrat like behavior, Mr. Doll. You know what a rat does? It solves problems. 
Rats are basically the engineers of the internet. You know, or I guess... I guess there's definitely an argument to be made that it's like badgers or, or beavers or something, you know, but... Uh, rats make tools. Rats are, they're, they're not the engineers of the animal world. They're just some engineers of the animal world. You know, there's some, like, mid-level, pulling down, you know, 80k a year engineers of the animal world. Not senior, but, you know, not entry-level. Okay, so the tech officer, oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know what, I'll just let you Okay. So... Let's drop down to the corner here. So that I can't be surrounded too much. Whoa! So there's just an infinite number of these things. Not, in fact, the location of the tech officer. Unless this coffee pot is their tech officer. Does not seem to be the case. N dash CN9 black box operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Huh. It's interesting that the uh, the tech officer waypoint is just taking us. It's just wrong. It's weird. Okay, well this is a fabricator. It's not exactly what we're looking for. So I have to find and disable his tech officer, who apparently is. In this box? Thought for a second maybe it was like solid snake. Hold on. I don't understand why the hiding somewhere within the hardware labs. What the hell? <laughs> why is the waypoint here? Where's the man, where's the nearest door to hardware labs? Uh we have to go back through the lobby, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Can't trust this automated mapping software, man. Okay, well, that's a little bit much. Oh, we can make this jump. We'll just run around here and... Uh, okay, Morgan chose not to jump. Sort of ran off the edge of the platform and said, oh, I thought I'd be able to make that. Well, there's certainly a lot of these damn things. Alright, up on the crate, up on this thing, up on this ledge. Okay, here we go. Oh, this just gives me the information. This is not that helpful. There we go. Hardware Labs has been a place, uh, traditionally, of very heavy Typhon activity. So I'm curious what it's going to look like now with all of Dahl's people running around. Well, people is maybe a strong word. All of Dahl's operators running around. Because I don't know, like, this dude might already be dead, frankly, if he went to Hardware Labs. Hardware Labs seems to be a place where uh, the phantoms are infinite. The etheric phantoms, no less, which are definitely the most annoying ones to deal with. And we've lost sound, so let me just tab out and tab back in.
Seems to usually fix it. There I told go. my ops I hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. Even the brightest minds need adequate rest. Fucking fine. Fine. Morgan. I will go save. Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can yeah, I know help, where they are. Do it quick, or this is the last time we'll be talking. I know where they are because I just spent quite a long time wandering around there aimlessly. The Salazar's right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Yeah, that sounds like him. I don't know a lot about this guy, but he uh, seems to adhere to a pretty broad archetype. Well, I've worked pretty hard to keep those people alive so far. I'm not going to let this asshole show up in the last third of the plot and ruin all of that. So let's get to, uh, we'll get to the Atmo controls. We'll undo whatever the hell it is he's done. Then we'll get to the, uh, get to Hardware Labs. I don't know, beat his tech officer to death with a wrench, maybe? I suppose I don't have to kill that guy. He's probably just following orders. Hey, where'd all this coffee come from? Are these guys operating the drink machine? Ooh. Is this worse than it was before? I mean, I know there was definitely... That's a half-life telepath. So my suspicion is that Doll's men are, uh... Come on, come on. It kind of seems like it didn't realize I was there, even while I was shooting it. Strange. Uh, seems like they also didn't realize I was there. Are the enemies in this area broken? Because I was definitely right, like, in front of those guys. Okay, whatever, we'll rewire these two and then bolt out of here. It should be fine. 13 minutes is ought to be more than enough time for us to get where we're going. So far, I don't think we've had a single timed challenge in this game, apart, I guess, from the level 2 hacks, where the timer was anywhere near what we needed to get it done. Pretty sure. Alright, hey, they killed some guys. Alright, I'm very busy right now. Oh no. Is the uh is the bugged fan gonna prevent me from solving this? Oh god, I hope not. I bet it is. I bet we're gonna lose all these people because that fan thinks it's still jammed. Jesus. It kind of looked like there was a uh, humanoid shape in that room uh, that's right next to us. So I'm pretty curious when we get out of here what we're going to see. Are there actual, like... Wait, that's him? Casper. I read you. What's the situation? What the hell's he doing down here? Morgan, you did it. Alarine's transport with the medical operator. Oh, now we good. can I see about removing his neuromod and hopefully gaining a shuttle in the process. I can't believe he came down here and do this personally. I'm actually kind of impressed. 
I see that we are still being hunted by something. Let's deal with it. Yeah, it's saying that a containment flush is, rep is recommended. But we can't do that. The fan's broken. Oh, man. How did that thing evade the military operators? It's so big and slow. Um, okay. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna go really, really hardcore on this. Support air quality ratio below standard operating levels. Atmospheric containment launch. All right, there is definitely nothing impeding that fan anymore. It stops working. It stops working. I may have fixed it. Life support air quality ratio below standard operating levels. Atmospheric containment flush recommended. Ceiling control room. <gasps> I did it. Okay, yeah. The little piece of metal must have been down there somewhere. Wait, is this going to be bad for me? Do I have my thing on? Oh no, everything's fine. These these rooms are... Oh no. Hey, how's it going? Please, please stop doing that. Yeah, okay, good. The uh, recycler charge figured out where the piece of metal was and destroyed it, and that made the fan uh, realize that it was unbroken, I think, is what happened. Or it was unjammed, rather. Good, I was really concerned that we were going to uh, lose a bunch of people to a bug there. All right, well, once we've got these guys, I, I know there were two awareness meters. Once we've got these guys under control, we can have a look around. Is this going to kill Dahl? Uh-oh, I don't see a health bar anymore. Oh, no, this looks friendly. Okay, good stuff. Good to have friends. Okay, wait, what do I have to do now? Now that it's... Okay, doll's fine. Morgan! Air's almost gone. Please! Kill that sociopathic wire hit. Stand by for oxygenation. Morgan! He's still alive. The air's flowing again. I can breathe. And I hope this means Dal can't. Thank you. A little longer and... Never mind. Elazar out. Going back to his ship now that I have his uh, cargo key. Well, I guess we should finish dealing with this tech operator first. Once we have the dude's tech officer down... Theoretically, we'll be able to reassert control over the operator dispensers. And then it'll just be a matter of dealing with the remaining military operators on the station, right? But if I can hack most of them, then, uh, in fact, we're, like I said, we're safer than we used to be. If anything. I can't believe Dahl came down there to execute his plan himself. That's, like, remarkably brave, actually. You know, considering he's a video game villain and everything. What am I doing? That's not how you get into an elevator. Okay. I wonder, once this is done, uh, I wonder what we will have left. Alright, up to hardware labs. I think the easiest way is this way? Oh, not... Not through trauma. I had to go up another level, don't I? No, this is this just leads to my office. Oh no, this is teleconferencing. Yeah, this is right. Oh wow. Well that sounds like a problem for another day. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's good. 
So I guess the radiation those things put out is not severe enough to actually affect you if you are just at full sprint. You know, speaking of neuromods, actually, I should probably... How many do I have? Because I definitely have some. I, I might want to actually spend these and buy some extra health or something. Or maybe just... What else did I have left? I think stamina? Extra stamina is not terribly useful. Especially considering how few wrench hits it takes for me to kill things now. I have eight neuromods, so... I mean, I guess I'll use one. Alright, so... 200 health. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe. We have the subject, Dao, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can. I'm just gonna let this play out, I think. We will uh, defeat the survivors. Huh. Etheric phantoms are unaffected by the zap. There's so many of them in here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'd never tried tasing an etheric phantom before. I did not realize that they would just be flat and immune to it. Okay, the damage of the ether on the ground effect dissipates like a full five seconds after the uh yeah all right let's fix it like a full five seconds after the visual effect that's kind of annoying all right so once we have this i think i'll just have i'll just repair this one i'm not gonna worry too much about the others This one will be enough to distract enemies. Okay. Uh, his tech officer is that way, I think? Alright, well, I will trust the uh, trust the map. I guess maybe I could have been a little more subtle than that. Why am I not hacking? He must have, like, slightly rolled out of the way. Rolled off of, uh, out of my vision as the, the little box is filling up, I guess. It sure looked like I completed the hack interaction. I don't think I've ever seen this map before. This is a really easy one. do about this tech officer guy. I guess I can just stun him too and we can throw him in the brig or lock him in a in a room somewhere. Maybe I can just, uh, you know, fix the problem myself. I guess I should have expected that his tech op officer was going to be an operator. That makes a lot of sense. Welcome to the team, Casper. Doors are no. working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew. Okay, I think I, uh, I think I saved Casper's life there. I'm assuming that, you know, functioning, Casper will actually be of some value to me. He's gotta be useful. We're okay. going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps in the air on this station. Three, 
prior ejection. Index point. Populated no his entire left. crew with Don't customized it. operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. So, that definitely ties into the idea that uh, I am something that Alex created in an interesting way. I mean, I never suspected I would be a machine. I clearly am bio biological, right? The med kids work on me, etc. But that doesn't mean he didn't build me in some way. Maybe even out of, you know, Morgan. But I don't... I don't know. The way he says, this isn't the one, when you try to use the escape pod, makes me think that he is actually making individual organisms. But maybe he just meant this isn't, like, the iteration. I don't know. Come on. Yeah. I am so mobile now. Here I thought we might finally be done with the Neuromod Division. Alright, when we get on the other side of this door, I should probably patch my suit. I don't know when we'll see an engineering operator next, and frankly, the... Uh, Frankly, these suit repair kits are not exactly a pre at a premium here. Come on. I get all excited when the loading screen goes away. It's like, ah, oh, man, time to play the game again. And then I remember. No. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, there's some military operators and a technopath here. That's really bad for us because the technopath definitely can just hack the military operators. I have pretty good cover here. Alright. It was far more concerned with using its uh, turrets to shoot at me than with trying to zap me via the, uh, what do you call it? You know, those little electronic bursts that it does, little EMPs. Which is good for me, because I, uh, I don't know where I would have run to for safety if it had started EMPing me. They actually get far less dangerous when they pick up turrets. This is kind of a strange, uh, strange thing. I guess maybe that's only true if you're fighting them a certain way. I would love to know what other people uh, have been doing for combat. Like, if, if my combat strategies are unusual, or... Part of the reason I'm, 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 pretty, I'm blazing through this game pretty fast, I'm recording a lot lately, is uh, I want to get to the end so that I can watch other people play it on YouTube and Twitch and see what they do differently. Because that is, uh, I find that stuff fascinating. I really, really love to watch people play these, uh, these more open, sort of non-linear games. Because everybody has such a different experience with it, you know? Frankly, there is very little in the world that is more interesting to me than the way people's minds uh, solve problems. Watching different people solve the same problem in different ways is just, like, endlessly fascinating. Okay. Where am I actually meeting Igwe? Because I do not know. He's upstairs. Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, Dahl, has been secured. You are Believe I've isolated strangely. the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. All right, Remember, well, this, this works. Say nothing. Oh, 
Oh man, I don't know if I want to watch this, but I'm also kind of like... When extracted, Dao's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his assignment here. Yeah, this is going to be really gross. If you're but having also, second kind of thoughts, performing the extraction idea. can't set us back any more than we already are. Except oh no, I'm 100% on board. Oh jeez, there's smoke coming out of it. What? Who are you? Morgan? Stop, stop, stop. Your father's been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Da, I am Dr. Igwe, chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Oh, no. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once. I, but we, why is this closed? We couldn't leave without you. Huh. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot. Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? Wait, open the door. I'm afraid open there's the no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's yeah, get Daddy's day. precious child off the Asshole. station, or Transtar will black box me. Ah, oh, man, again with the black box. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. We'll meet you there, Morgan. Okay, I think we're doing it, man. We, we figured out a way off the ship, and we saved some people. Not everybody, but... It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet... This turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. Yeah, I don't trust, I don't trust January most of all. I don't know what Alex is up to. I don't know uh, what I'm, what I from the past was up to, but out of everybody on the station, I trust January the least. Man, how many how many different I from the past am I distrusting at this moment? Cause the me that built January is the me that made the video file that I watched in the in the office, right? And that me said to distrust Alex. But that me also was pretty deep in the treatment already, and so probably didn't actually know what was going on in the first place. <laughs> Let's go back to the shuttle bay. I now have the uh, the key card for the shuttle, and so I would like to go in there and steal all of Dahl's stuff. At this point, Casper is no longer hacking the crap out of the station. In fact, maybe uh, undoing the hack, like rehacking the station in our favor, uh, now that it has been converted to our team. Boy, that. I just realized, like, seeing Dahl in the chair and pressing the button and watching the procedure, I just realized how similar that feels to, um, oh boy. Some things are occurring. Let us assist. Morgan, we're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. We'll see. My vision is, uh, it seems really dark in here. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. But let's get in the shuttle and, uh, and rob this dude. Uh, that was... Boy, that wasn't a lot of loot. 
All right, well, I'll take it. All right, I think that is where we're going to have to call it for today. Come back next time, you guys. Apparently, now is when we're finally going to figure out what Alex's plan is. And we'll see you then.